Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do a bearded dragon fecal exam. Um, so what you're going to need to start is a microscope um, with a viewing objective of at least 400 times. Um, anything over that is a bonus, but not necessary. Um, my first starter microscope I got from beautifuldragons.com. Um, you can also get supplies there, medications if needed. Um, it's a great site. Um, you'll also need your cover slips, your slides, um, your fecal saw, and your fecal tester. And gloves, obviously, of course. So what you do, we'll put our gloves on here. I'm just going to get a fecal sample. And it should be less than four hours old. The fresher, the better. So what you do is you take your fecal tester, you open it up, and you take the green part out of the fecal tester. So now we're just going to get a sample. Okay. So what you do, uh, the green part is out. You get a little bit of fecal matter, um, about the size of a raisin. You don't need the whole thing. Just a little bit will do. And then you place this back in your fecal tester, but don't um, push it tight down. Just sit it there lightly. Okay. Then we'll come back over here. Now, you should always put a piece of paper towel underneath your fecal tester to stop any um, from running over onto your table or wherever you decide to do it. So then what you do now is you take your fecal saw and there's a little arrow on these testers so you fill your fecal saw up to the arrow, okay? Or halfway, um, doesn't matter. Okay, then you um, lift this green part out of the fecal tester but you keep it in the fecal saw and you give it a good stir, give it a good mix like a washing machine. You do this for about 20 to 30 seconds um, once that's done, then you push it down tight. Then you take your fecal saw and you fill it right to the rim. And if a little bit overflows, that's fine because the cover slip has to come in contact with the fecal saw. So you can see it's almost spilling there and it probably will. So then you take your, your cover slip, your little cover slip, and you place it right on top of fecal saw and a little bit did spill which is okay um, because what happens is um, the fecal matter will uh, mostly sink to the bottom if there are any parasites present what will happen is they will surface and stick to the underside of the cover slip then it's the waiting game you have to wait about 10 minutes um, you shouldn't wait any more than 10 minutes or so um, so we're just doing a demonstration so we're not going to wait the whole 10 minutes Okay, let's say the 10 minutes are up. Then you open your slides. <coughs> you take your slide and you lift the cover slip straight up and you place it right on top of your slide. Just like so. And then you place it in your microscope. And once you do that, um, you have everything turned on, you start examining the slide um, side to side, up and down, every inch, um, slowly, so you can see if there are any parasites or anything present. Um, that's basically it. Uh, it's pretty simple. I do want to add, though, um, this is a really good book. It's called Understanding Reptile Parasites. Um, I got mine off Amazon for just a few dollars, pretty cheap. Um, every different kind of parasite worm is in here. <coughs> There's a nifty little chart that um, tells you what each parasite is and what you need to do in treatments and such. Um, so I highly recommend this book. And also um, a parasite chart that I've also gotten from beautifuldragons.com which is wonderful. Um, it shows you the different worms, um, the parasites, what you need to do, what treatment is needed. Um, this is really good. Veronica has some really good supplies on her site, so I recommend this as well. Um, basically, um, that's everything. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, you need to do it a few times, get the hang of it. 
once you do a few fecal exams, you'll be a pro at it before you know it. And that's everything. If you guys have any questions, contact me through my website or send me a message on Facebook. Thanks for watching. See you guys.